setting up IK using the IK Spring Solver. Here is a doggy I found on the internet, and I think I'll keep it. Um, if you look inside, there is a skeleton setup, and if you look at the hind leg, you see that it's different than the hind leg from a human or a normal biped. And we would like to set up IK across three bones, that is four joints, that is different than in a biped. If we look at the options in the IK tool, I'm going to double click on the IK handle tool icon. Uh, there's two IK solvers available by default, and the IK Spring Solver is not one of them. In order to get to the IK Spring Solver, um, we need to go to our command line and type in IK Spring Solver. And a semicolon. That will load the IK Spring Solver. It will also load the Hex Solver, but don't care about that one. So now we can choose IK Spring Solver as our solver for the IK we are going to create. So let's go to our hind leg and select the first joint we want to have in our IK chain and the last joint we want to have in our IK chain. And there we have a IK chain, and it looks just like a regular one. Um, we can move the handle up and down, and it actually does do both joints. What is the advantage over normal IK solver? The advantage is that you normally would not have control over how much each of these bends. With the Spring IK solver, let's get the attribute editor out, we do have more options. IK solver attributes now contains a sp spring angle bias. Uh, let me pull the leg into view. There's my leg. Let's pull the leg up. There we go. And I turn the visibility of the uh, body off for a second. Now, with the spline tool, you have, in this case, two positions you can adjust, and if you get the first one, you see that it actually sets a bias on the first angle, and the second one sets a bias on the second angle. And it basically said how, so it sets how rigid is, each joint is. So if you give them sort of a nice mean, you can see that it now bends much nicer. You can even animate these if you would want to. You can set keys on them. And of course, you can drive them with custom attributes. So this is a nice little uh, a different IK solver that works better for if your bone chain contains more than three joints. Now, some of you might have wondered why I built only one side of the skeleton. Well, if you set your IK up first and then select that IK chain and mirror the joints, but facing left with right and across the appropriate YZ axis, mirroring behavior, if I mirror it now, it also mirrors the spring IK I set up. So there is a little advantage to mirroring your joints after you set up the IK, because the IK setup will also be mirrored.